All right, guys, so listen up. Today, we're going to get to do free mods. Free mods on my 2018 F-150. Uh, this should work for any EcoBoost F-150. Uh, two things. First of all, on the snorkel, the intake snorkel, there's two sections where you're going to remove uh, little fans inside of the snorkel. It's supposed to help the turbulence of the air. Um, supposed to make it spin a certain way and have the air go in uh, a little bit faster. But honestly, after reviewing everything and looking through the forums and talking to different people, they really just restrict uh, the air going in. And honestly, don't let you hear the turbos. So if you buy a turbo vehicle, you want to hear the turbos, right? So we're going to go ahead and remove those. I'll show you that. And then the second mod is going to be a VTA mod, a vent to, ask, vent to atmosphere. And pretty much all that is is being able to hear your blow-off valve when you accelerate, let go of the throttle, and it blows off the extra air. So none of this is really going to give you any more horsepower, but it's going to let you hear your turbos, going to let you hear your blow-off valve. And shit, I bought an EcoBoost so I can hear my turbos and so I can hear my blow-off valve. So let's get started. All right, so what we need to do is we need to remove this. Need to, well, not remove, but at least loosen this. Loosen that and loosen this one. Now this one seems to be like the screws all the way down on the bottom. So I don't know how I'm going to get to it, but I'll figure it out. And then once I loosen that, there's a fan in here that you're going to just pull out. And there should be a fan in here that you just pull out. One is smaller, one is bigger. This one's obviously the bigger one. This one's going to be the smaller one. You can see by the time size of the tube. So I'll go ahead and start taking that apart and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, so let me get up here. I have to get up on my little step ladder because I'm too short. But uh, pretty much I took it off. And if you look in here, I mean, I still have it like laying here because there's still cables connected and stuff. But if you see in there, you can see that those fins right there, you just grab this and uh, I'm going to have to do it with two. I'm going to have to do it with leverage and I don't have leverage. I'm going to have to use my other arm, but I wanted to show you. So you see there's one right there. And then there's the other one right here. All right, so we're just going to pull those out of there and then install this back together. I'll get right back to you. All right, so I don't know why, but this one seems to be giving me a little bit of trouble. This one down here, I could just grab and pull out very easily. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a two minute mod and you're on your way. But that one is so tight on there. I'm trying to get it out. If it keeps giving me trouble, I may just grab the heat gun and heat up the tube and then see if I can get it to slide out. But let me see if I can manhandle it first. All right, so I ended up having to pull out the heat gun, heated up the rubber a little bit. I had to get a little bit hot to get it out, but I finally got it out. A little damage I did to it with the, with the vice grips, but this doesn't matter because it's going to get thrown away anyway. But see, now they're out. Now you have complete path through no more vent no more vent there now all you gotta do is put the snorkel back together so let's go do that all right guys so uh free mod number one is done everything's buttoned up got everything screwed in the right way those three sections and uh i'm gonna put some stuff away and we're gonna go for a quick rip and then i'll come back and do the other one actually i should be doing both uh, I think I'm gonna do both so that way that So this is what we need right here Just need one to plug up one part of the vehicle here, and I'll show you what I'll show you that when we get back home All right, so I'm underneath the car that's the driver's side uh, wheel and here's the piece right there there's your blow off valve right under the radiator there's the passenger side tire so here are the this is what connects to your radiator right here so we're gonna scroll back over here and i already got the top part of this hose disconnected so i'm just gonna disconnect this one 
we got to twist and pull. So twist. I don't know which way we got to twist. I think it's this way. Yep, that way. And pull. So I hope you got that. And now we're going to bring this whole thing down because we're not going to need this. All right. So this stays open because this only blows off. So the only time it opens up is when it's blowing out air. Nothing's going to get in. But the other side is where we got to go put that plug. So let's go back up to the top. All right. So this is it. This is what we pulled out. And then we're going to go back up here. And we're going to plug it in now I'm gonna try to show you it again it's right underneath this thing like pretty much right underneath where the connection goes let me see I need to get my uh, step stool here see if I can show you ah uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in there uh, where is it there it is you see it right there so that's what we're gonna plug up right there and we're gonna plug that up with this right here so stay tuned oh yeah that plug fit perfectly it's like if it was designed for it instead of chairs <laughs> let me see if I can show you there you go you see it plugged in so the only thing left now is to go for a ride again now i didn't record the ride the first time because i was accelerating i was listening and honestly i think you just need a cold air intake in order to really be able to hear it i don't hear the turbos at all um maybe if i open up the the, the box and let some more air in maybe that might work i don't know but i didn't really hear anything uh, where's the other clips? It's just those two clips. Yeah, so the filter's clean, but I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe, you know, just propping this open or something. See if I get more air and I hear the sounds because I really was not hearing the turbo. But what we did down there and that plug that we did was to hear the blow off valve. So we're gonna be listening for that. Stay tuned here. All right, so what I did was, I grabbed one of these two fins, the ones that I took off, and I went ahead and uh, just for now, just temporarily, I just, you know, stuck it there just to uh, let the air in a little bit better. I'm not gonna leave it like that. I just wanted to see if I can actually hear the turbo spool up because I really can't hear anything and uh, I want to make sure that you know I just purchased this vehicle not too long ago it does have 80,000 miles but I want to make sure the turbos are spooling you know what I'm saying I mean it feels strong when I'm driving so I think they are but you know I want to be able to hear it so stay tuned all right so we got the vehicle on we got the hood open here just want to see what it sounds like let me spool it up a little bit. Let me do that again. Yeah, you can hear the blow off a little bit. Yeah, I was able to hear the blow off there. So at least I get the blow off sound. But for me to be able to hear the turbos pull up, probably gonna have to put in an intake. Well, anyways, guys, that's pretty much the DIY mod. I'm gonna go for a little drive. Maybe I'll bring you along. All right, so after driving with it a little bit today, I'm gonna give you the sound of the blow off valve makes. You should be able to hear it.
Yeah, I think you should have been able to hear that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down here on the side of the truck, on the driveway, see if you guys hear it better. I hope you guys enjoyed that.